says all that kind of stuff too, which uh -huh. is so cool. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited about seeing the pictures today. Here we go. It is game time. All and right. we are so Let's excited to have you here this morning. I tell you what, this is this is a day to be reckoned with. Yesterday was incredible. And I feel like today is just next level. And that anticipation that we are coming up on the dedication service Sunday night. Like we are right there. I That's cannot right. wait to see how far it, it, along it is. But before we do that, let me just give a shout out real quick and say, hey, there are so many of you that have been engaging with us online. And man, that means so much. It, it has blown us yeah, away, the comments really and what people have been doing. It. Yeah. So we just want to give a shout out to some of you this morning and just say thank you. We yeah. appreciate you being a part of it. You can make sure to post your questions, your comments, say hey to Steve and Jill and anybody else that we meet because they're going to be looking over these comments as well. They can do it live like we are, but we want to give a shout out. And last night when Very we gave a shout out to the to the kids from Grandpa back in the oh, States, man, that was cool. cool. Was that? Man, I love the joke too. What a great joke. Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start that. was some that good one. stuff. Yeah. We are excited about today. A lot of great things that are happening. Make sure that you're engaged with us in the comments. Give us, give us some great feedback. In fact, I want to propose a question. Today's Devo was just so encouraging to me. And kind of along the lines of that one, I want to ask this. What are you believing God for? What are you believing God for to happen in this church, this project, That's this trip? Yeah. For me, Ryan, I am believing that Sunday, that, that room is going to be packed out. And not just for attendance sake, but there's going to be people that are going to give their hearts to Christ, that the person they bought the land from is going to be there and meet Jesus in those altars. I'm just believing life changes. Yeah, and we're going to get to watch it happen. Live. Oh man. How no great is that? Doubt. What about you? What do you believe in God for? You know, uh, I'm, I'm believing God that the building is going to be ready. <laughs> Come on. And, and to just to be totally honest, that the technology works seamlessly so that we yes. can all be there present yes. and see what God does during Mine the service. Mine was way more spiritual. Than <laughs> still good. Because we, we want those two together. Oh, man, yeah. a win. We want to be a part of this virtual mission trip, too. Yeah. We want to see this exactly. dedication. We miss yep. this every single trip. So um, super excited about all of that. Let's do it. Oh, I got a, I got a shout out specifically. Hey, Randy Ayers, he's been a longtime friend of mine, traveled with him several times, been involved in missions and leading teams yeah. for years. He's been engaged in this. In fact, I think he was the first one. He said, he ready. To, he said ready. I'm just ready. So, Come yeah, on, Randy. Randy, thanks so much for joining us. And I know Tim Mackey spent a lot of time with us as well. And he, he leads teams for faith in Orlando, Florida, and all over the world. And he's been engaged with us and giving us some encouragement and some good ideas. So, Absolutely. hey, thank you for joining and being a part we of this really virtual missions trip. Yeah. So as we're engaging today and asking questions, why don't you put in the comments also, what do you believe in God for? Let's, let's let this be a place of faith building and encouragement mm -hmm. for Steve, for his family, for the pastor there. What do you believe in God for through this journey, right? right let's get let's get steve in here let's get, get steve him. i'm right. ready how long the church is yes hey steve how are things this morning on the job site welcome welcome steve good morning huh no hey hold on you're muted let's get some audio yeah we're gonna there we go good hey ryan hey jeremy how you guys doing good morning 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 it's storming there this morning. Oh, it is storming. I don't know if you can see behind me. The rain is coming down here. We can hear it bouncing off of this this metal roof and all, but it hasn't stopped us from working today. In fact, it's been incredible to see the progress. We've been a little limited outside, but let me take you inside and show you what they've been able to accomplish today. Hey, that'll be great. Oh my goodness, Ryan, that is drywall. They have so put up the, the mud drywall. Was the drywall. So get, getting this in, getting everything set up. This is going to be the, the front of the church. This is going to be where the altar is. And having this look very nice for tomorrow. So the, the drywall is going in right now. Look at that, Steve. And, uh, that's that's not a very door, common thing. Our front door, door this is really exciting. just arrived a few minutes ago. They're actually putting it in right now as I speak. It'll be a nice double door. Got the metal security bars across it. It'll be a wonderful way for people to 
to come and leave the church. So we're believing tomorrow night when uh, everybody rocks will come through that door and they'll meet the presence of God right here. You know, Steve was just telling us that they were concerned because this door was supposed to have already arrived and it hadn't arrived yeah. yet. And I, one of the big surprises, Steve, I got to say for you and for Jeremy and the team, I did not anticipate this much progress on the building yeah. before this Sunday. Is amazing. So the, the team there has done exceedingly well. I mean, the amount of progress is just, I, I'm, I'm very impressed. Steve, are those lights that we see this up top? Has been, this has been incredible. It, I think it's a uh, surprise to everyone, uh, all of us included as well. In fact, uh, if there's one more thing that I can show you, I'm going to point up a little bit to the sky here so you can see. Uh, there are lights that they've run what? across the top here and uh, on both sides <laughs> so that we can light up this building. Two of them actually stayed till 3.30 in the morning, running those electrical lines, getting these tube lights in so that it was, so we could work inside today and have some light and also be ready for, for the service tomorrow. So um, that, when, when we showed up this morning and saw what they had done last night, um, we were just blown away. Oh, wow. That is incredible. Hey, for those that are watching online, you may notice that there's some internet some uh, some challenges but it's storming there yeah, i mean this yeah, is amazing right. we're even getting this much from from you in uruguay steve this is incredible I, i've never seen a church go up this quickly this far along yeah exactly with this kind of detail and oh quality. man this yeah. is incredible steve this this has been unbelievable the team there and the amount well, of work I'll, you guys have gotten done i'll step outside and show you real quick the, they finished up the stucco yesterday too um, so this is on, the second coat is on, and uh, really if the rain good. stops today or maybe we can work in a little time tomorrow morning to even get this painted. So um, there's still a few things that, that we'd like to get done, but let me tell you, we are so impressed with how hard every single person has worked. And uh, one of the things I'm most looking forward to is standing in front of those double doors tomorrow night as the people start to arrive. I happen to be in that space on Wednesday right before we had our prayer service. And uh, a few of the brothers and sisters, they were arriving for the very first time and seeing what had taken place since their service on Sunday. Some of them just began to cry. Other ones, this huge smile came across their face because they knew how hard they had worked and sacrificed, and now they were going to have their own building where they could worship God and make a difference in the community. And so I imagine tomorrow night if you turn in, you're going to see some big smiles. You're going to see a few tears. But most importantly, you're going to see a whole community that's gathered here that's worshiping God and has a desire to reach this nation for Christ. And so if you can't tell, we're, we are excited about tomorrow night. You know, you know, we... I think we need to start this dream early tomorrow if people are coming in. Yeah, I think we're we going to try that. We'll talk about that. That would be All really right. cool if we could be a part of watching people oh. shrug. We just need to see if we can make that My happen. face hurts from smiling. <laughs> <laughs> just blown away. Steve, hey, this is amazing. Hey, stand, well, standing outside in the rain, you, if you need to get back in where it's dry, go for it. But um, Jill shared with us a story yesterday. She, she told Deborah about – um, talking to a couple of the ladies that were cooking and they were just so excited. Yeah. They were talking about having the new church because when they were under the tent and it would rain, their feet would always be wet and they would be cold during service. And they were so excited to be able to have dry feet while in church. I mean, isn't that exactly amazing? Exactly right. Yeah, two, two winters they went like that. And uh, and you can imagine it. That it was just, just normal ground. And yet... They still would gather for all of their services. They would come for the, the midweek service. They'd come for the Sunday service. There are special events for men and women. The children would be on Saturday. The youth would be there Saturday nights. And uh, rain or shine, you know, winter, summer, they were there because they love God and they just want to see his name glorified in this place. One of the questions that was asked is, is how do you heat and cool the building there? What, what, what's the longer term plan? It's a good question. Initially, uh, churches don't have that. As they're okay. able to acquire some stuff, there are these split units, they call, and they run as heating uh, or, or cooling systems. And so mm -hmm. you can buy them, and they'll put a few up in different parts of the, uh, of okay. the area um, just to, to, to use in those, in those very hot days or those very cold nights. Gotcha. All right. Oh, that makes sense. That's great. Thanks for that.
Come on, guys, online, feel free to ask questions. If there's something that you saw, uh, some, we've got people that are watching going, wow, I've never seen that happen so fast. <laughs> Holy cow, they've got drywall. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you guys want, I can introduce you to one of the guys who's been here all week helping us no. out here. Totally. And, uh, and you can get to know him a little bit, and we'll see what this church means to him as well. Fantastic. Let's do it. This is Mauricio. And uh, you might remember Virginia, uh, the, yeah. uh, the the pastor's wife, and uh, from our conversation, this is her brother. Oh, okay. He has been here all week helping us out and is a big part of the leadership here at this church. God bless you. Hi, how are you doing? Es un honor para nosotros poder estar con ustedes en esta tarde. It's a great honor for me to be here and to share with you this afternoon. Estamos muy contentos por por bueno todo lo que nos están ayudando. Bueno, Forma u otra. We're, we're, we're so happy for all those that are helping us in some way. Para algunos de nosotros, eh, para ustedes es el comienzo, para algunos de nosotros es el cumplimiento de una promesa, y bueno, y para otros es una esperanza, uh, todo for, este proyecto. For some of us, this is just the beginning. For other ones of yeah. us, this is, actually, this is actually God fulfilling his promise that he gave us many years ago for what he was going to do on this property. Wow. And, uh, and it's just a joy to see what's happened this week. Y bueno, con los recursos que tenemos, gracias a Dios podemos alcanzar a muchas personas, muchos niños, y con la ayuda que ustedes nos están brindando, van a ser muchísimos más si Dios quiere. But we're so grateful for the opportunities God's given us to reach out to the kids of this community, but we believe that with this church we'll be able to yeah. do even more for the glory of God. La verdad Amen. que es un verdadero honor y un verdadero placer estar trabajando con Steve y bueno y todo el grupo en pos de, de esta nueva misión y este nuevo proyecto que es levantar iglesias en el Uruguay. And he said, to be honest, it's been an incredible privilege to work to work with me, to work with our team here, and, uh, and this, new, this new stage that we're moving into of building churches across the nation of Uruguay. That's great. Cada vez está más cerca de los colores amarillo y negro. And he says, yeah, this is his favorite soccer team, so he had to wear the jersey today. So he says, black and yellow are, are his colors. Es el cuadro más grande en Uruguay. He says, it's, it's the most famous soccer team here in Uruguay. Así que bueno, oh, muchas gracias. He says, so thank you very much. Y cuando se levante todo el proceso del coronavirus, los esperamos por aquí. And when borders open, we hope you will come and visit us. Que Dios les bendiga. Beautiful. Hey, hey, Steve. Okay, I think he was pumping you up more than you passed on through the translation. <laughs> he he said some very kind things. That's for sure. There, yeah. Well, I think we all concur. You know what? Um, I love what we're seeing here. You know, many of us wish we could be there. I know there's the team that wanted to be there. Yeah. Um, but this just speaks of the fantastic partnership that we have. Yes. When we have um, across our fellowship, we have missionaries that are well seated, that are tied into a national church, that have personal relationship with the national church, and know who and where to work with. And so we've just got this perfect mix, Steve, where you spent ten years there building relationships, got to to meet and know Pastor Marcelo and Virginia. Now the local community champions mm -hmm. that will be leading this work, and they mobilize their church to volunteer to step up where the other team yeah. wasn't able to come. What an exciting yeah. week, really, to see that happen. Yeah, and and if I can just take a moment and say thank you to to you guys, this partnership, this relationship for us has just been incredible. For you to come alongside of us and help us, and really to help enlarge our vision. For what we believe God can do in this country. Special thank you to all those that are praying for us, all those that have encouraged us throughout the years, and those that have sacrificially given. Really, it's it's an honor to serve God here, and we couldn't do it without you guys. So thanks for helping us reach this this wonderful nation, a nation that God loves. We know there's still some churches that only exist in God's heart, and we're hoping to plant those very soon, so people in those communities can find Him and find new life. At least a hundred of them. At least a hundred of them. So Absolutely. thank you for your part in that. Together, I believe we can do that and make a difference here. Yeah. Hey, we have some great questions. One of them was, will the cross that's behind you, will that be used in the sanctuary or do they have a different one for there? You know what? That's a great question. Uh, pa Pastor, una consulta. Una persona está preguntando sobre la cruz allá. Si usted va a poner esa cruz en el nuevo templo, Oh, they have made they have made 
they made a special 3D logo that's actually going to go inside the church here. And uh, and this one will stay wow. here in, in the room where they are right now. So, yeah, he's very excited about a, a new one that they have coming that will go up in the front. That's cool. Uh, this, and, I gotta where, where they're going to put this cross, I'm sorry, is going to be on the front of the church so everyone can wow. see it from the road. That's so, amazing. That is amazing. We've got a we've got a friend, another partner that's online right now who is who is one of our builders in Cuba. Oh, gotcha. Who's watched us build with you <laughs> in Uruguay. In fact, yes. you have his part, if I remember correctly. You've got another guest here that, that we have the opportunity to connect with. Is that correct? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me there. Uh, I'm so sorry. You guys broke up there for a second. I didn't hear right. what, what you're saying. Well, is Delmay around? Delmay the, yeah. is the project manager. We'd love Absolutely. to just connect. Let's, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's take a little walk right here, and we'll go, and, uh, go and meet Delmay. In Spanish. Oh, Ellis. look at that. Oh, you, Ellis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. We, got, we have a pastor friend uh, watching Steve from Cuba. Okay, I, I want to introduce you guys to Delmi. Delmi is huge so, in this whole thing. He's our construction supervisor on the project here. He'll be helping us with these four that we have going on in the next next month or two. And uh, just great job Hola. organizing the guys, having the materials that we need on site. And uh, we met him nearly 10 years ago when we first came. Worked with him uh, in other projects throughout the years, but honored and delighted to be able to work together on this project, Hope for Uruguay 100 together. Hola, buenas tardes. He says, hi, how are you? Good afternoon. Un placer Hola. para nosotros compartir a través de este medio palabras con ustedes. And it's a great pleasure for me to be able to greet you through this medium. Que tanto han bendecido como nación a Uruguay. Estamos muy contentos por eso. Thank you so much for blessing the nation of Uruguay. Ya que hace varios años que venimos trabajando en lo que es plantación de iglesias. Yo ya en el proyecto Esperanza para Uruguay ya hace unos cuantos años que comenzamos. Este, y bueno, pero con este nuevo proyecto, este, acá con el senero McCarthy, estamos comenzando a trabajar juntos y de realmente una bendición poder ser parte de todo esto que viene para Uruguay. He says, I, I've been a part of a lot of church plants before, different building projects, but I am so excited to be part of this new one that's going on right now. Um, working Amen. together with Builders International, working together with, with us to be able to, to plant more churches, establish churches, and then build new churches for the glory of God. Amen. Muy agradecidos este, a Dios por lo que ustedes hacen por nosotros este, y también nosotros este, poder eh, crecer eh, junto a las personas que lo necesitan aquí en nuestro país y poder and predicar el Evangelio para ellos. We're so grateful to God for the blessing that you have been to us and the opportunity that we have to grow and to see the kingdom of God expand here in the nation of Uruguay. Hey, yeah, we appreciate having Christian builders to partner with. You're doing a fantastic job. Están haciendo un trabajo increíble, mucho más de lo que ellos habían esperado en una semana. Bueno, muchas gracias. Y bueno, esto es lo que podemos hacer. Y bueno, gracias por, por todo ahí. He said, thank you so much. This is the best that we can do. And we feel like we have to give that to God. So God Amen. bless you for all that you're doing as well. Amen. That's fantastic. Dios te bendiga, mi amigo. Hey, Steve, are we seeing a lot of lightning behind you or is that a welder? <laughs> I'm sorry, the, the rain is just so loud. I'm having a little trouble hearing. Could you repeat that? Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Was that lightning we were seeing flashing behind you oh, or a welder? Oh, no, I think they're welding the door on there. So you're probably just seeing right. a few sparks from that. Yeah, that's a bad storm. <laughs> yeah. See, this looks absolutely amazing. Just so many comments of people, construction guys that have gone on trips that are blown away by how much you guys have gotten done. Yeah, and, and just the way that they're getting it done. Oh, you know what? It reminds me of this morning's uh, scripture in, in the devotional uh -huh. thought. I mean, I know you referenced it, but um, Nehemiah 4, chapter oh, 6. Love you it. know, when, when they'd been building the wall around Jerusalem, it was a struggle. It was a fight. In fact, they had to have a sword in one hand, yep. a trowel yep. in the other. But, but the scripture says that the people had a mind work. Mm. And I, we just see that coming out in the team there on the site. They have a mind to work. They're there. Through the rain, through the storm, no matter what, at 3 a.m., 
Hey, Dan, Steve, you such an incredible job, and uh, we are thrilled with all that's going on here. It is amazing. Hey, I want to ask a question. Um, you know, tomorrow night, Sunday night, we'll be having the dedication. We're not going to be with, with you doing an update for today, Sunday. What do you think that they'll be able to get done between now and Sunday? What I think they'll be able to get done? Uh huh. Oh, so, so the couple goals are is to finish up getting that door in, getting everything finished around there, uh, to do the drywall, and if the rain stops, start some of the painting. Um, those are some okay. of the things we're right. really hoping to, to accomplish. Um, so pray with us that the rain stops. You saw how hard it was coming down. They've already said just this morning half an inch has come down. And uh, wow. so we were asking God that it would stop, that things would dry out, and we could uh, we could do that. In addition, there's a brand new sign that they're, they're building the frames, uh, welding it together right out there, that we're going to hang on the front of the church. Beautiful color signs. It's going to go out there and just bump the wall so everybody in the community can see as they pass by. We'd love to get that hung on the front, too, so that uh, – so, so we had that, you know, when we arrived tomorrow night. So That's weather exciting. permitting, Lord willing, those are a few things we're hoping to see. <laughs> That's exciting. Hey, um, we're kind of curious. Give us a little teaser. What would, what can we expect for the Sunday night dedication service? For those that are watching right now, kind of give us an idea of what that's going to look like. We're hoping to have, have a little bit of worship. Um, there will be a message sharing, uh, you know, with, with the church, a word of encouragement. There will be some time of prayer for Pastor, Pastor Marcelo, Virginia. The, to dedicate the church and and for the people of this community, uh, we'll probably even cut a little ribbon, you know, as a, as the uh, as the opening act, you know, for uh, for yeah. this new building, and uh, and hopefully even share a few clips of the work that went on this week. So those that are visiting with us tomorrow night, they'll be able to see, you know, how quickly this church went up and all the hard work that people put in. That that's fantastic. That really yeah, is. Hey, Stacy asks. Steve, will you travel to each of the other builds? And if oh, so, are they really? Yeah, I'll be I'll be at all of them. Uh, it's one of the things I enjoy doing is helping with uh, with the construction, being part of all the all the different teams. And so um, we'll be there. Uh, the other two are a little bit further away. One's about forty five minutes from house. It was about an hour. Um, and then the last one's about five hours away. So Delmi and I will travel to that one. We'll probably stay there for the week, and then uh, build the church, and then. Then come back. So yeah, you know, yeah we got, got quite a bit of travel ahead of us these these next few weeks. Uh, that brings up the point, Steve. That um, this is church number one, but the, there are three other foundations in, and you're going to be building a total of four this year. That's correct. And July and August, we spent time get, getting the foundations in to be able to kick off this part of uh, of the construction of the churches. You know, um, and and I think you told us, Steve, that. The, the country of Uruguay, our fellowship there has never built this many in one year, but the, God has enabled this to happen in, in only a couple of months mm -hmm. during a pandemic, breaking a record. The superintendent was just, I was just talking to him a few days ago. He said, Steve, this is historic. We've never built four churches in, in a year before, let alone during such an economic crisis and pandemic like we're seeing right now. And so it's built their faith. They said, if we can do four this year, Let's set a goal of doing six next year. And so uh, we're excited that this that this is advancing, that their faith is growing along with ours, and that we're going to believe God for even greater things next year. That's that's oh good. God. We need to, we're going to help encourage their faith to push it forward to 10. All right, let's let's do it. Come on. <laughs> hey Steve, Martha asks, what is the name of the church? Can you say it in Spanish and English? Sure. Sure. Um Un segundo para decirlo bien. Marcelo, el nombre de la iglesia. Encuentro con la vida. And so it means life encounter, or it's a play on words. It means encounter with life. It comes from John where it says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And so it's a, it's a play on words that they have life encounter church, but it's also encounter with Jesus because he Come is on. life. That is awesome. That is awesome. Thanks for saying that. Well, Steve, tonight, uh, tonight's going to be fun. Last night, the two of our ladies got to engage with your wife. Uh -huh. Quite personally, it's probably one of my favorite ones so yeah, far. Yeah, and then too. tonight's going to be special. We get to spend a little bit of time with you doing what we call a cultural tour. So uh -huh. normally when we take a team, 
they get to have at least a day or an afternoon where That's right. you take them out. They get to try the food, see the culture sites, see some of the buildings. You know, it's, it's kind of hard to do that when we can't travel. So Steve has worked with us to put together some resources that we can take a cultural tour, kind of get an idea of the food, the cars, what, what does yeah, it really look yeah. like, the buildings, the weird fingers that come out of the ground. Yeah. Just a lot. So make sure, log on tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 Central, have your questions ready. Anything goes. Stump the missionary if you want to try. We're going to ask the question. We're going to get to know your way a little bit better. So make sure to log on tonight yeah, for that. It's going to be good. We already know Steve really well now, so it's okay. <laughs> all right. Hey, my, my wife and I, we, we always say, ask away, whatever you want, you know. Uh, and if it's too personal, we just won't answer it. So you might as well take a chance and at least ask, right? <laughs> And if you don't yeah. know the answer, you can always make it up in Spanish. Yeah, well, that's exactly. good stuff. Hey, you know, um, I just thinking back to last night, it was so great to get to meet your family. Of course, everybody's special, but especially little Julia, as we as we were introduced to. Julia, the newest um, addition to your family. Yeah. Thank you for opening up your home and, and sharing her with us and your home. Oh, Absolutely. our pleasure. Our pleasure. Hey, tonight we're going to be giving away another shirt, so make sure to sign on 7 Eastern, 6 Central for the Cultural Tour. We're going to have a great time, a lot of laugh, make some memories. If you haven't yet, go to buildyourgoy.org. Make sure you register for the trip. We had, I think, really uh, 10 people last yeah, time yeah. registered for the trip. <laughs> it's not too late. Log on, buildyourgoy.org. Register for the trip. Stay engaged. Steve, it's somewhere around 250-ish at this point that are registered and a part of this team. What an amazing yeah, team. Awesome. Many yeah. aren't watching live. Many are having to watch afterwards. But all this engagement, it's just been amazing. It's, we really appreciate yeah. you taking the time from construction uh, to help make this happen. So we appreciate it. Hey, we love being part of this team. So thank you for having us. Thank you for allowing us to be part of the, the first ever interactive yeah. virtual yeah. missions trip to himself. Absolutely. It's a pleasure to serve and be part of this. Hey, have a, have a great day there. We're going to sign off and be ready to roll this evening, 6, 6 p.m. Central, 7 Eastern. Sounds good. We'll see you guys tonight. All right, brother. God bless.